Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your boy, Orange Marshmallow, coming at you with not a Minecraft YouTube video. So, we are playing a game called Summer Nightmare. Uh, you know, no idea what it's about, but I saw it in my recommended, and I was just like, sure, why not? Get some quality content. What is preferences? Oh, okay. Yes, very fast tech speed. No idea what that's going to do for me, but let's do it. Max everything. We want it in English, not Japanese. Only because I don't understand it, but like, if you do, good on you, might. Uh, I don't think I want to skip anything. And I haven't played the game to know what I want, so... Let's start the game. Alright, news. Uh, is this auto? Yeah, okay, whatever, I can read it out. So, okay, yeah. Do you remember the serial murder case that continues to happen within a certain case? Unfortunately, another victim has emerged. I'm sorry if my reading is bad, like, I can't read. Okay. This is... Blah, I can't speak either. This issue received even more attention as the victim was the only son of XX Group President. No idea what XX is. Now the third class of juniors in... Kali, Kali, I'll say Kali, Kali High School, was, wait, that doesn't make sense, now the third class of juniors in Kali's high school's possessive is left with only one student. You only have one student in your school? How do you only have one student in your school? I didn't want to hear it anymore, so I turned it off. Yo, is that me? That looks nothing like me. Also, like, your head is totally not proportional in my opinion. But then again, it might just be the art style. Ryle, or something. We'll call that me. Our classmates have been killed one by one by an unknown killer, and I am the only one who is left. I still have to go to school. Boy, like, if everybody's dead, why are you going to school? Even if no one's left. Well, if everybody's dead, who's going to teach you? You know? My father, according to mom, he died in an unfortunate accident. Soon after, my mom, dot dot dot, whatever, let's stop thinking about it and go to school. See you later, mom and dad. Alright, so we're at school now. The principal thinks that I am the murderer, not to mention that he thinks that I killed Kai. He was my childhood friend. I would never kill him. He was my childhood friend. I would never kill him. I literally just said that. But you just said you were the only person there. It's break time. The students in the hallway are giving me looks. Okay, but like, why though? You just said you were the only one there. Could they be suspecting me too? I mean, if you said you're the only one left, then like, process of elimination, you know? Unless somebody's not dead. Hey, isn't that the guy who killed all of his classmates? I don't know. You tell me. And he has the nerve to show up to school. Scary stuff, really. Everyone's whispering to each other while staring at me. Whisper, 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 whisper. I pretend that I didn't hear anything, but I couldn't help lowering my head. Nah, man, hold your head up. Hi. You just gotta be like, so what's up, you know? Ah, uh, that is a person. Lena. 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 Me. You okay? Yeah. Don't listen to them. They are just saying stupid stuffs. Stuffs. Without knowing anything about you. At least you trust me. Quote unquote. Of course, I know you're not that kind of person. Maybe. Lena is the only one who believes me. Lena has been my friend since childhood so far. What about Kai? I thought you said you were Kai was a childhood friend. Suddenly, a group of bullies came to me. Brass knuckles. Let's get that. Dude, your hair, though. Alright. Bully one, because you got no name. He's the famous murderer, right? Hey, maybe they'll initiate you into their cult. Bully two. You guys don't even look like bullies. You just look like pricks. You've got some nerve to show up like that, you murderer. Did your mother teach you to be like that? I don't know. I haven't met my mom yet. Don't you dare say bad things about my mother, because we haven't met her yet. Oh, that's right. This has no mother. 
I'm going to have to censor this stuff. Dot, dot, dot. Would you look at his face? At this rate, he'll kill us all, am I right? Demonetized. Guys, stop it. Very unenthusiastically. Okay, time to censor stuff. Oof. Who's this She want your hose? Hey. Dot dot dot. You guys better be careful. He might stab you. Dot 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 with angriness. Lino was flushed with anger as they were chuckling. Look at those blush. You can see their faces are changing, but their body posture does nothing. So, I clenched my fists. Suddenly, a boy who was holding a book with an annoyed face appeared before us. The new character? It is a new character. His name is Oscar. The one name I can read. So we'll call him Oscar. You guys are so noisy. If you know that, then... If you know that, can you please shut up? Oscar. If you have already noticed, be quiet. What? 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 Yeah. You don't own the hallway, so shut up. Ooh, stuff's about to go down. You nerd. A hey, nerds unite. Stop being stupid, ain't. See, if you're a nerd, why would you say ain't? Being stupid ain't something to be proud of. Cut it out, he is Oscar, the teacher's pet. Messing him messing with him might cause some trouble. So let's head back. I don't know, you know, just tisk or something. But I made a noise. Scared of Oscar, the bullies became quiet and went back to their classroom. Ah, uh, that boy saved us. Dab on him. He must be a good boy. Dab on him. Thanks. Thanks for what? Saving us. Me? Save you guys? Huh. Honestly, I came out here only because the hallway was too noisy. You guys too. Stop being noisy and get out of my way. Oof. Oscar walked away coldly from us. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, whatever. He isn't as nice as I thought. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Ha ha. What's wrong with him? You okay? Lena. I'm fine. I should go back to class. You should go back to class also. Forget about what everyone says. Chin up. That's what I said. Okay, Lena. Have fun in class. And then you both left. She left. I am left alone. Pro tip, you should go to class so you're not alone. Except for the fact that you got no friends. So, a lot has changed in a day. Kai, who was a close friend of mine, died, and people think I killed him. I mean, did you? It's hard to even breathe when I hear what they said about me. What they say about me. <clears throat> Lo siento. I broke the promise that I made with Lena. And left the school. But! If I knew what was waiting for me, I would not have left the school. I left school and arrived at the temple. Not bad looking. I like these trees. This is the temple that I used to come often with my mother. I visited here often when I got sick or something. When, when I got sick or something bad happened to me. But this is my first time since my mother's passing. It feels quite awkward to come here on my own. Wait, so is your mom dead? Okay, that's a lot to take in. Wait, is your dad also dead? I probably should have read up on this. The temple had a both heavy and bizarre atmosphere. It even feels like someone is watching. I kneeled over the cushion and closed my eyes. I wish... Dot, dot, dot. I can prove my innocence, and everything falls back into place. Dot, dot, dot. It feels like something's changed. Wait, it feels like something's changed. I am probably just imagining it, but the temple looks more red than before. The emptiness of the temple gave me the creeps. I guess I'll go back home. Okay. It is pouring outside. Pretty sure it was sunny just then, but now it's all foggy and dark. 
Wait, what time is it now? It is only... That looks like 2.01. So it is only 2 p.m. Although it's been a while since I started walking towards the bus station, no one else is on the street. The stores are all closed, too. See, like, that's kind of weird. What is that in the background? It feels like I came to a completely different world. I just decided to wait for the bus at the stop. Ah, finally, the bus is here. Good job, bus. Believed in you. The bus. But wait, I don't see the driver. Oh my god, it's a ghost bus. No one is driving it. How could that happen? Ghost bus. Like, I'm telling you, it's a ghost, ghost bus. I moved backwards. I quickly got off the bus. The bus, with no one inside, disappeared into an empty space. I suddenly felt cold and ran home through the rain. I mean, like... You know, if you, like, if you feel like getting wet. As soon as I got home, the phone rang. It almost felt like somebody knew that I had just arrived. The ringtone feels ominous. I tried to calm down and answered the phone. On the telephone, I could hear a robotic voice. Domino's Pizza, how may I help you? I'm in the fifth classroom for juniors. If you don't come right now, your girlfriend, Lena... Will taste the horror that she, will taste the horror that she will never forget. Well, then that's weird. Lena, Lena. I rushed back to the school as soon as I hung off the phone. I was worried that something might happen to her. Please be safe. Ha ha. I don't know who this is, but Lena is in danger. I want to find out just who is threatening me. First of all, I need to go to the classroom to save her. And also bring a weapon, and then you can get, you know, kidnapped and stuff, because you suck. Rrrr, noises. Uh, where am I? No, I'm sorry, this is arg. Oh, pirate. Arg. My homeroom teacher is standing in front of his desk, and Trey, the classroom pres the class president, is standing next to him. So, teacher, teacher, Trey, probably. The seats are filled with class students. Students seem to be worried and started whispering to each other. The teacher slammed the desk twice with the, atten with the attendance book, because you're too poor to get a gavel. Our classroom and the class president, even Key, Kai, K, Key, Kai, name, they were obviously all dead. But how? Okay, guys, calm down. If you all follow my instructions, everyone will be safe. Yeah, guys, let's all settle down and listen to what he has to say. Now, a Medusa is roaming around the school, turning people to stone, dabbing on their bodies, you know, the usual. I don't know where it came from. Anyways, when you encounter her, you should run away. Don't you dare fight against it. Nah, man, fisticuffs. You gotta be like George Washington and stuff. If you make and eye contact with it, your heart rate will rise drastically. Eventually, it will explode. Because, like, yeet. It's empty. If something happens, come to me at once. I'll be in the office. If something happens to me, the class rep will be your leader. The HR teacher was getting out of the classroom, and it stopped. Oh, right. Remember that you cannot get out of school. I'll go down... To the office and find a way to resolve this problem. Okay. The teacher took the attendance book and left the classroom. Trey opened his mouth and everyone looked at him. United we stand, divided we fall. Boo! Get off the stage! We all know what it means. We have to stick together to, f to get out of here. This place is dangerous, so let's try to find a safe place. Follow me. Never follow your leaders. They're idiots. Just do it yourself. But, like, don't be the prick who tries to lead other people because then you're just going to fail. So, stay together, but don't stay together, because y'all suck. Trey left the classroom after he finished speaking, and the rest of the class followed him. Alright, so it's empty. What? Medusa? What in the f*** are they talking about? Because I'm going to have to censor this now. And how is everyone all alive? This must all be a dream. Ooh, I closed my eyes and tried to wake up, and realized none of this was a dream. Ooh, I'm a ghost now. This is not the time for this. Lena, I have to find Lena. Ooh. Lena, 
I walked in, rashly shouting Lena's name, but the classroom was empty. Nobody's here. Wait, that's... Lena's hairpin. Wow, you are so observant. Like, wow. I went to Lena's seat in a heartbeat. A music book. Maybe she does music. Mm, just forget everything away here. Now let's go to... Mm, decisions, decisions. Let's go to... They said follow try. And, like, I'm a sycophant minion, so we'll follow try. Lena is important to me, but I have to stick together with the guys. It would be much safer that way. But the hallway is empty. I'm probably going to die now. Where did everyone go? I can't see anyone here. Should I go back to the other side? Uh, ah. Uh, I tried to go back to the other side, but then suddenly somebody pushed me back into the music room. See, I know I'd end up there eventually. Oscar was the one who pushed my back. Why would he do such a thing? Oscar's face was covered with sweat. There he is. What in the f are you doing, censorship? You are... You're the one who carelessly opened the door. There was a Medusa outside, who I have yet to see. A Medusa. Yeah, the Medusa is wandering around to eat everyone. Well, I mean, who wants to eat a bag of rocks, though? Are you saying there's a Medusa outside? Cool, let's go check it out. Your surrounding will turn red when Medusa is around. You're lucky that you're still alive. So this is like... A text adventure, or am I going to do something? But our friends are still out there. Lena might be there, too. Hey, I didn't give you consent to touch me. What you doing, boy? What you doing? Oscar quickly stopped me from getting out. I tried to shake him off, but it didn't work, because nerds are strong. Now you're acting suicidal. I don't want to die with you, so calm down. But... And now we're back here. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Told you. Dot dot dot. Tis. Zzz. Victims. 11th grade. Third class. Rayon. Fussin. Ano. Yono. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Those are the guys from our class. You should really thank me that you're still alive. This is not the time for that. What the hell was I supposed to say? That I feel sad for those guys? Get your together, man, because I am getting so demonetized. I don't know how all of this happened, but we can do anything about people who are already. We can't do anything about people who are already dead. What matters is that we get out of here safely. Mourning for them won't do anything. Dot dot dot. Anyway, your girlfriend seems to be alive, so relax. Girlfriend, question mark. The blue-haired girl... See, I knew her hair was blue. The blue-haired girl who helped you in the hallway. Isn't she your girlfriend? Question mark. Not yet. Ooh! Well, yeah, whatever. Oh, it's silent outside now. Shall we head out? Yeah, we were trying to do that the entire time. Alright. I came back to our classroom, but nobody's there. Flowers were placed on some of the desks. Only the ones on the right side, because left-handed people can go not be here. This wasn't here before. Really? Aren't you observant? Look closer. I found that blood was spattered on the flowers. Or they could just have a nice shade of red that turns brown when it dries. You never know. Is this the doing of the Medusa? Well, there's this weird line right here, and then, like, it's only on the right side, but not the left side. So, you know, maybe it's just a left-turning impaired one. Where are you going now? To look for some clues that might get us out of here. I'll go to the broadcasting room first. That's where the broadcast came from, so something must be there. Ah! You? Question mark. I have to find Lena. Do you know where she is? I don't know. If you're thinking about finding her with any without any information, you should just give up. Why don't you follow me? Maybe we'll find Lena while we are looking for the clues. You are right, but... 
Well, it's your funeral. Dab. Because I have a dabbing problem. Fine, but help me find Lena. Someone opened the... Is that the teacher? Someone opened the door of the classroom, roughly. Pretty sure that was the teacher. Nope, it's Trey. Ha, ha. It's Trey. He's alive. Trey? Question mark? Person? Oh, I thought you were dead. You're alive. What about the other guys? The others were... They... Were caught by the Medusa. I barely made it out alive. I should have looked after them. Except you wanted to leave because you suck. Because leaders suck. Don't follow your leaders when you're in a horror movie. They get you killed. It's not a bad tie. Trey couldn't finish his sentence and started crying. Yeah, you ball over and cry. Keel. Keel over. I patted him on the shoulder to comfort him, losing his friends right before his eyes. I must have hurt him so much. Except he probably should have turned to stone if he was looking at them, looking at the Medusa. So, like, you know, stuff. I only took a glimpse of the Medusa's head, and it was horrifying. Surrounded by a red aura, bloody skirt, and creepy hair. Cool. Just in the hindsight of what we saw was enough to make him shudder. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, you know, it's kind of sunny outside, but then again, it's kind of cloudy. So, you know, whatever. It wasn't too hot either. It was nice and cool. I think it's going to rain later, but otherwise, it's a good day. We have to get the hell out of here, person. Where were you heading? The broadcasting room at the third floor. We thought, law. We thought that some, we thought something might be there. The broadcasting room. I already went there just now. The door was locked. Hang on, you went to the third floor while being chased by that freak? Oscar stared at Trey, with his eyes slightly open. Trey glanced at Oscar a bit and continued speaking. I realized I was already on the third floor when I got there. Wait. So, you're just like, do 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 and then like, oh hey, by the way, I'm on the third floor, let's go over here. Like, does anybody use logic? Like, you should know what floor you're on if you go to school there. And you're all juniors. Anyways, it will be no use when you go to the third floor. Come with me to the ground floor. I gotta go to the office. Last time people followed you, they all died. Oscar, what do you think? I'm not going to the office, per person. If you want to go, you can go alone. Besides, I think I heard... S I think I heard scream from downstairs. I'll follow the class rep. Let's go to the office to meet the teacher. The hallway of the first floor seems slightly blue. Okay. Also, it's also totally silent and empty. I wouldn't be surprised if something pops out at the end of the corridor. Oh well, leaving Oscar alone bugs me a little, but there's no other way. Well, I mean, there's several ways, though. We entered the office with Trey. Or I did. Person. Trey. Is that the teacher? Whoa, okay. Teacher. Does he, he doesn't even have a name, it's just teacher. I felt relaxed when I saw the teacher's face. I see him every day. But given the occasion, I felt particularly relaxed. I'm glad to see that you're alive. What happened to the other kids? They're all dead. The other kids were, of course. The broadcasting was right dead. It relieves me that you guys are safe at least. I was waiting here in case the other students needed me. Is there anything we can do to help? There must be a way to get out of here. Well, can you go find some clues that will help us escape? Hmm. Let's go to the third floor. Oscar seems to have some stuff. The third floor hallway what is cold. Where did Oscar go? First, let's get to the nearest library. Was it the, Why did you even tell me to go to the third floor if you are just going to tell me to go to the library? There's no one in the library. Wow, really? Why don't we investigate the books? Which book? There are way too many books. Thank you. How are we supposed to find anything from here? You use the computers. And then you use the Dewey Decimal System, and you find a book based on last name. Let's look at the school description page. 
Oh, is that it? Dot. Dot. Huh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. It's weird that there's nothing at all. Don't description pages have information about the history of the school or faculty usually? Yes, the Medusa is one of the teachers. Boom. Plot twist. I doubt we can get any information from here. Let's move on and go to the next classroom. You mean to the third floor, where I wanted to go? No one's here either. No Oscar. Probably because you're not on the third floor. It sure is scary to come to the science lab when it's so dark. Yeah, yeah, you know, you just take some of that, you know, chemical A plus chemical B makes chemical C, which just happens to explode stuff, you know, the usual. The science room, with the smell of chemical products, so ominous. The human body model of the science room looks like it's starting to looks like it's staring at us. The irregularly placed irregularly placed experimental tools are so unsettling. You have to do a science lab. Oh my god. Wait. Was there something like this in the science room? I've never seen this before. A syringe in a strange shape. I've never used such a thing in the science lab. Suddenly I heard a voice from behind. Oscar. Weird, isn't it? Oh my god, he was stalking you. Oscar, where the have you been demonetized? This place wasn't... This place wasn't a school originally. What are you talking about? We were in the computer room. You better not walk around so loudly like that or Medusa will find us. Ah, so... Ah, I was preoccupied with finding a clue that I couldn't think about the noise. Follow me to the computer room. I have something to show you.